ECW 24-7 in BYWA Hardcore Champion. The warrior. From DC, aka America, he is Trey Ravalta, aka Big Bad Booty Daddy. I would like to point out to the crowd that Trey Bravo Delta is often hated and debated against, but here against Chris Kazam today, he is the most loved person. No, I'm Trey Bravo Delta getting a hero advice from an amazing veteran over there by the. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for one fall, and as you heard from my commentator partner live at the arena, this contest is between Trey Bravo Delta, aka Big Bad Booty Daddy, versus his longtime tag team partner and stablemate in BME, Bad Meets Evil, Beast Mode. These two gentlemen are both the D BYW Next tag team champions. And let me introduce you, first of all, to our new animated series. This, ladies and gentlemen, is DCW Destroy Everything Presents Destruction Zone. Or no, it's not. It's Danger Zone. I'm sorry. My name is Chris Kazama. I am doing commentary here back at the DCW Destroy Everything offices just simply because I could not do commentary as loud and as ruckus as it was in that area. What's this Beast Mode going for here? Beast Mode has ended manu or excuse me, ended matches with that very maneuver let's see if he could win this match here with it am i gonna count i am doing commentary and i'm doing special guest referee i am that damn good triple h circa 2002 back from a knee injury whips him off across the ropes run into me that hurt trust me i was there what's he gonna do here ddt plants Trey Bravo Delta right in the middle of the ring. I'm a jack of all trades right now. I am doing commentary for this match live. I am special guest referee. I am responding to text messages. I am responding to Facebook updates. I am a jack of all trades here as Beast Mode is working over Trey Bravo Delta. I am officially a jack of all trades, but apparently a master of none. Trey Bravo Delta with the top wrist lock in reverse, or excuse me, Beast Mode. Now, Trip Bravo Delta reversed that top wrist lock with one of his own into a headlock. Beast Mode's going to transition into a headlock into his own. Now, what's going to happen here? Whip him off into the corner. Beast Mode reverses it face first into the corner. What's Beast Mode going to go for here? Nothing. It's going to be reversed by Trey Bravo Delta. Taking out the knee. Big Northern Lariat takes down his tag team partner. These two men were told in the back to go at it 100% because there would be a reward for the winner. What the reward is, I don't know. I said I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. I don't, however, know everything. I'm not a magician. Or maybe I am. You'll never know. You might see in this contest. But what we did just see is a huge back body drop by Trey Bravo Delta to Beast Mode. Beast Mode is, is sort, of a, sort of an enigma in DCW Destroy Everything. He's had a few notches, a few matches under his belt, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in the real world realm, in this non-animated version, he is 100% undefeated. Trey Bravo Delta, the former DCW Destroy Everything 24-7 slash National Backyard Wrestling Alliance World Hardcore Championship. And the irony of that, those matches were... Generally, there were no hardcore spots. There was one, but it was just normally wrestling the way it should be. The way God intended. Good old Christian morals. Speaking of Christian morals, the go behind by Trey Bravo Delta. <laughs> the, Trey, the go behind by Trey Bravo Delta to Beast Mode. Wrestling Slam number two takes down Beast Mode. Beast Mode, that, my friends, is illegal. Rake of the eye by Beast Mode to Trey Bravo Delta. Kick to the gut. Normally that sets up for the stunner. Headlock takeover. Big back elbow. Takes out, or it doesn't take him out, but really shakes up Trey Bravo Delta. 
another top wrist lock. Beast Mode really, really working that wrist of Trey Bravo Delta. Not sure what he's working it for. Oh, but there's a forearm right to the trachea of Trey Bravo Delta. Can't. And here we go. Pinfall. Cover. No count. I did not get down there fast enough. Why am I in wrestling gear? I have no idea. I should have on a ref shirt. You be the judge. But I am watching this contest intently. Very beautiful textbook scoop slam. And I'll big knee to the back of beast mode. And if there's one thing that Trey Bravo Delta is underrated in, it's strikes. He's a cheater. I'll even call him a bastard. But he's good at strikes. And he's also good at submissions. And he's got this camel clutch locked in right in the middle of the ring. If beast mode isn't careful, he's going to get caught and have to tap out. Oh, he's got it in deep. This is bad. This is bad news bears for beast mode. That's a lot of bees. Bad news bears. Bad news for beast mode. And that's it. Beast mode taps out. This contest is over. Your winner, Trey Bravo Delta, 3BD, beast mode has entered the Wounder Wrestler Project. This one, oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, unfortunately, oh, yet again, the winner of this contest, Trey Bravo Delta. Bravo chest head, son. <laughs> And this is the next contest on the doing this baby of DC Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a number one contenders match for the DCW Destroy Everything Internet Championship. If you paid attention last week to a video that I did not post, so I'm sure you didn't pay attention, Primal Instinct was the DCW Destroy Everything Internet Championship in this virtual realm. However, Mark Nightsage pulled a fast one, got his comeuppance, and became the DCW Destroy Everything Internet Championship. Primal Instinct has been put through the gauntlet, put through the ringer. And by put through the gauntlet, put through the ringer, I mean just made to face Adrian Slayer. Adrian Slayer is 6'8", 400 pounds, and as Enzo Amore would say, you can't teach that. Primal Instinct, the known striker. Adrian Slayer, the known eater. This could end one of two different ways. Also, let me introduce our referee for this contest right there in that black shirt and the jeans is our senior junior, or excuse me, junior senior official referee, the Lunar Eclipse, Kyo Wu. Ironically in this contest, Kyo Wu and Primal Instinct are the only two members of this contest to hold DCW Destroy Everything Championship Gold. Adrian Slayer is kind of making a niche for himself already. Big springboard, oh, big springboard elbow. The problem was he tried to do a springboard elbow to a standing person who's about six feet away from where he delivered the maneuver. However, Tyson Kidd would probably agree that was a damn good elbow. And whoever, whatever ghost that he hit with that elbow will not get up to the 10 count. However, he is not facing a ghost. He's facing the 6'8", 400 pound, can't teach that, Adrian Slayer. Adrian Slayer, one third of the hierarchy for intelligence, violence, and extermination. I almost forgot the name of my own stable. The Hive. And the Hive have been on a bit of a tear right now. And on a bit of a tear, I mean, on the June 8th episode of DCW Destroy Everything, every member of the Hive lost their match. But that's not the point. The point is they will come back. And as you can see, Adrian Slayer takes that big drop and comes back down. And now what's this? Big moonsault by Primal Instinct. I think he calls that the full moon. 
That is a terrible name for a terrible name for maneuver, but it got the job done on the big six foot eight, four hundred pound canteen stat Adrian Slayer. Oh, Adrian, they both hit each other at the same time. I think he hit him Adrian Slayer hit him with the uh the old little rascals punch. And now they're locked in the Greco Roman knuckle. There should be no way Adrian Slayer loses this, and he doesn't. Gets him right in that front chancery. Not the last chancery. Don't actually know any chanceries in between the first and the last, but we will have no haters in this dancery. As Primal Instinct hits a neck breaker, a big flying neck breaker, a neck breaker that he's known for only in this game. And now the go around, which really theoretically shouldn't work on Adrian Slayer, but he hits the throwback. The front flip, uh, I think. I don't know if that's a cutter or a neck breaker or even just a push, but it's uh it's effective as it got the big man six foot eight, four hundred pound, can't teach that down. And that's got him in the front chancery, but Adrian Slayer just too big for that front chancery. Look at him slap on that headlock. And now he puts him in that front chancery, last chancery in this dancery. And now slaps his hand away. No, sir, you cannot get in the cookie jar. And now they will both grapple in the collar and elbow tie up. Despite the fact that Agent Slayer does not have a collar. And now he's got him again. Front chancery, last chancery in this dancery. Big arm ringer. Ah, oh, just destroying the armor Primal Instinct. You gotta feel for Primal Instinct at this point. I mean, he doesn't have many things that he can do. Ah, oh, but he can fall. He can fall from great distances. He can fall from about nine feet in the air. After getting back job by big Adrian Slayer. And now what's this? Whipping Primal into the corner chest first. I went for a punch, missed it. The strength of Primal Instinct, able to take the six foot eight, four hundred pound can't teach that Adrian Slayer over his head with one arm. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce that I will be giving a urine test to Primal Instinct as soon as this match is over because there's no way that should have happened and our primal instinct it's his destiny got him in the cross arm breaker Kia Wu gonna check to see if Adrian Slayer's foot's in the rope oh he's cranking it in the screen is shaking that's how you know it hurts and now what's Adrian Slayer doing just gets out of it doesn't even hurt him just kinda picks him up but look at him Adrian he says come on let's go I have a huge arm it's gonna be a lot to make tap out and now it's this again, Wrestling Slam number one, but that's a 400 pound. Can't teach that, Wrestling Slam number one. It was a jab, but the problem is Adrian Slayer is six foot eight, too tall to jab the smaller man, Primal Instinct, and now another go around. Go behind, I should say, like God intended. And now that top wrist lock, which seems to be a very, very popular move here tonight. And now, just kind of ranking, raking, cranking. I don't know what raking. Cranking that top wrist lock in. Ah, oh, it's 400 pounds. Can't teach that on the arm of Primal Instinct. And our big boot. Another collar and elbow tie up. Again, you've got to feel for Primal Instinct. He's not going to win these. He just kind of finds his way out. First chancery, last chancery in this dancery. Top wrist lock. Into the side headlock, slapping it in. But the big man overpowered. That is case number two for a urine test for Primal Instinct. He is too strong, way too strong. I had to. I'm actually gonna go back here after this match, and I'm actually gonna sniff what's in his protein shake bottle because I guarantee there are steroids in it. Steroids that you can smell. It's a taste you can see. And now what's this? Big kick! I think he just tried to juke Adrian Slayer. He hit off the ropes, ran one way, ran into another way, and kicked him. That's and one wrestling. The cover, Kyo will get down there. Get down there. Oh, Kyo. Damn it, Kyo. Oh, fuck it. Collar and elbow tie up. And what's going to go on here? What's happening here? Big side headlock. 400 pound can't teach that side headlock. Case number three for a urine test. Three strikes you're out. I think at this point, I don't even need a urine test. I should just be able to go ahead and suspend Primal Instinct, but I don't have that power anymore. I'll have to go to our animated Just Amazing, who I actually think isn't on this roster. So we're in a chaos and turmoil right now. And watch this. Is he going to go for Katie's Curse, the Tiger Driver? No, he's going to have him in a double underhook and kind of toss him around. 
That's a large double underhook. Butterfly submission. Case number four. He just Monty Brown pounced him onto the mat. What is Primal going to do here? Ah, oh, kicks him right in the thigh. That's a huge thigh, so it's got to hurt immensely. Back roll by Adrian Slayer. A look at these two. These two warriors. These two men. This is almost like a, 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 a technical cluster wonder match of men who don't know how to finish a match. But Adrian Slayer does know how to back body drop him. That's the second back body drop of this match. I don't know where my commentary has strayed to over the last couple seconds. And now what's this? I was going to set up for that cross arm breaker again. Adrian Slayer, his feet are slightly not on the ropes. He can't reach the rope. This is tremendous. The screen is shaking. The pain is immense. I can feel the pain from here. The pain is in Chicago, Illinois, and I can feel it from my house in Petersburg, Virginia. It's long and deep. This is a very long submission, and Adrian Slayer's tapping out. Everybody's tapping out on this show. Look at Kiyawu getting his shine on. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this contest. Oh my God! And the winner of this contest, that was Primal Instinct. Uh, Primal Instinct. I have to give it to Primal Instinct. That's not good. And his opponent. This nigga be down back He is the DCW Destroy Everything Champion. This is the Black Dragon. He is one half of Night Sage or Bird if you can't He is the DCW Doctor Art Night Sage! We hate Night Sage! We hate Night Sage! We hate Night Sage! We hate Night Sage! Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a champion versus champion match, let me turn that volume down, between the Black Dragon, Kaiba Ino, the DCW Destroy Everything, heavyweight champion of the nation, uh, DMV, I should say, we defended it in Virginia, Maryland, and DC, so the DMV, and then we have uh, Mark Nightsage, that's his name, the DCW Destroy Everything, internet champion of the internet, there are 67 million people, so that's 67, there are 2 billion people who use the internet. And Mark Nightsage is the champion of all of them. This match, scheduled for one fall, will see the loser have to defend his championship immediately. If Mark Nightsage loses, he'll have to face Primal Instinct, who made Adrian Slayer tap out earlier in this show. If Kaiba Ino loses, he'll have to defend his DCW Show Everything Championship on the spot against a person chosen at random by Just Amazing, who is not here. But I do have my cell phone right here. I don't know if you can hear it. There it is. I can get the text message right now to alert him that this match is going on. And the winner, or I may not have to alert him. Maybe Mark Nightsage will lose. Mark Nightsage, in real life, has never beat Kaiba Ino. Kaiba Ino is inversely undefeated against Mark Nightsage. So we'll see what goes on here. Again, Lunar Eclipse, Kia Wu at, ring at ringside. Fun fact, Kia Wu defeated Kaiba Ino and Rico Heartless to become the first, second, third, third ever DCW Destroy Everything Tag Team Champions along with his uh, tag team partner, the astrological phenomenon Scorpio Skellington with hair and about 100 pounds lighter. That is uh, not a stretch of the imagination. It's about 100 pounds lighter. Anyway, Irish whip into the corner. Mark Nightsage apparently was expecting Kaibino to bounce out of that corner so he could hit a move, rebound off the roof. But that didn't happen. Went for a big kick. And it was a bot spot, apparently. So Mark Nightshade's good to go behind. Kaibino, go behind into a front chancery, last chancery in this dancery. And now front face lock. That's not a front face lock. It's a side head lock. And again, 
Top wrist lock. Very, very popular maneuver tonight. Hammer lock. That's the first time I've seen that tonight. I believe it's Kaiba Ino, the Asian. To get the hammer lock again. More Asian stuff. Kick directly to the face of Mark Nightsage. I have never seen that before in my entire gaming life. That was hitbox Tekken type stuff. He basically just stopped Kaiba Ino's move in midair. It hit the best hitbox possible to stop Kaiba Ino dead in his tracks. That's fantastic. That's going into some highlight reel. I don't care if I have to force it in. And now it's Mark Knight's age going here. Kyo Wu, very wary of the tree of Joey Lawrence. Kyo Wu does not want Mark Knight's age to take any shortcuts. Kaiba Ino does not allow that, but that's a knee to the face. And now what's this? Huge German suplex just drops Kaiba Ino right on his dome, his cabeza, the head. Now what's he gonna go? What's he gonna follow up with? It's gonna follow up with the side headlock. That sound strategy, drop him on his head. Now work on his head, and now takes him over by his head. Kyo Wu looking on very sternly, very ref like. Look at that black shirt. Also, I'd like to point out that Kyo Wu is barefoot. Because whoever designed Kyo Wu forgot to put shoes on him. So uh, that will be fixed. But anyway, side headlock by Kaiba Ino. I have heartburn now. Another go behind, like God intended. Oh, very technical maneuver by Mark Nightsage. Ah, uh, but he went to kick Kaiba Ino with the dragon screw leg whip. And I. I I'm, I'm joking about this match, but this match does hold some real importance. Float over DDT by Kaiba Ino. This match does hold some real importance. The loser of this match is going to have to defend his championship on the spot, which means we're pretty much guaranteed a new champion at this point, unless a Damian Sandow happens. This is the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Or, actually, it's not. We're using the Money in the Bank set that they left in Chicago last year. And uh, we pretty much just commandeered the production truck. And now we're using their ring. And the awesome thing is, what you may not know about the WWE, is Kaiba Ino has another float over DVT. They actually hold all of their ring aprons under the ring. So we have access to all 13 ring aprons that the WWE uses on, at any given time. So that's awesome. That's going to be used here. So if you see different ring aprons, just know... WWE left him there, so that's weird of them, but good for us, because we have them all. And that elbow, right to the point of the nose of Kyo, Kyo looks like he did not like that. And another kick to the back, the most unnecessary maneuver in sports and entertainment. And those straight right hands, again, Kyo, an upstanding holder of the law, and you got to believe these right hands and these these borderline illegal maneuvers of like Kaiba Ino are really just getting at the skin of Kyo Wu. Kyo Wu going for the cover. No count. Mark Nice Age able to kick out at zero. Which for this game is tremendous that he didn't actually just kick out at one. And now what's this? He's going to work on that wrist. If you take away the wrist, you take away the mic skills of Kaiba Ino. But he's working on it big. He's working on a big, we can, get, we can get another tap out here on this show. Another tap out, another submission victory. I sound like a 12 year old when I say tap out. Going for the cover again, Kyo Wu got down there pretty quickly, one. Kyo got it, one. That's a progression, two more pinfalls and we might have a victory based on the transitive property. Another side headlock by Kaiba, you know, now he's just wrinking it, wrench it, wrenching it in. Followed by a back elbow. I can't talk. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Let me state that now. So any mistakes that I've made while on commentary, I got this video via tape trade because they wouldn't even let me get this video. I had to tape trade to get this video. This is actually fan cam footage. And it's 1 o'clock in the morning in the DCW Destroy Everything offices. And I'm sitting here doing commentary because I get... I don't even get paid to do this. I am not on the DCW Destroy Everything board of directors anymore. I should be lamping in the handles right now, but instead, I'm doing commentary. Big Northern Light Suplex by Kaiba Ino. I'm not really frustrated at the fact that I'm doing commentary. But I mean, just the man that could sign a check here and there, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, Kaiba Ino, going back up. Is this the signature? Falcon! Arrow! He's done the deal! Yes, 
I did steal that line on commentary. Fight me. Now, Kia Wu, a little hesitant to go down there for the pinfall. I wonder what's going on in the in the mind of Ka in the man of Kia Wu. But anyway, Kaiba ain't no looking to finish this match. That's by Kaiba. This match is over. Mark Nightsage will have to. What? What is this? Mark Nightsage rolls out of the ring. Kiyo has Kaibino up on his shoulders! 3KO! What the fuck is going on? And now, the, the fast count! And Kaibino kicks out at 2! After the fast count, Kiyo and Mark Nice just tried to get over one on Kaibino! My goodness! Just Amazing is gonna have to see what happened here. Big teardrop suplex by Kaibino! Wow, wow, what did I just see? What just happened? And now Kaiba Ino, grapevine, ankle lock locked in. What is Kiyo going to do? If, if, if Mark Knight Sage submits, he's going to have no choice but to ring the bell. It's going to be clear as day. I, what is he going to do? Mark Knight Sage's best bet is to turn to the left and get to the rope. Otherwise, and that's it. Mark Knight Sage does tap out Kiyo Wu, forced to ring the bell. Mark Knight Sage is going to have to defend his championship Right here, right now, right here, right now. And look at this, somehow Primal Instinct is already in the ring. And now this one-on-one -on -one contest is starting. It is for the DCW Destroy Everything Internet Championship of the Internet. And now Primal Instinct going to whip Mark Knight say just to the rope, who just got, just got tapped out. Just got tapped out, just got submitted. And a big right hand. And what's going on here? Oh no. Oh, what are daddy's darlings doing? Oh no, get your goddamn hand out of the cookie jar, cookie jar there, Primal Instinct. Don't do this. That man has a family, albeit an ugly one. So punch to the outside of the ring. Oh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and all the associates. Primal Instinct just has to throw Mark Nice Age back into the ring in order to get a victory in this contest. Primal Instinct is about two seconds away from being DCW Destroy Everything Internet Champion. I just sucks to just amazing to let him know. Hold the phone, stop the presses. He can go to sleep. We have the main event set up. No need to get anybody random. Turn that random machine off. Also turn back the Wayback Machine because this match is a rematch of the Internet Championship match from a few weeks ago that I did not post. However, Primal Instinct allowing Mark Nice to get up and now look at his his sternum hurts, his ankle hurts, he's limping. How is he gonna fight through this? Primal Instinct with the side headlock, or excuse me, the front chancery in this dancery. It's nightmare takeover. Big fist drop, and I am out of drink, and my throat is killing me right now. Ahem. Shit, I could drink this wax. It's in my wax warmer. I'm not sure my wife would like that. Big neck breaker by Night Sage to Primal Instinct. <laughs> now that's just amazing giving me a text back, I believe. You are... That's real mature, just amazing. Real mature. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do my job here. Mark Night Sage, pull back. Belly to belly suplex with the greatest of ease. The primal instinct had a little bit of time to to refresh. He he uh, just wrestled Adrian Slayer in a brutal contest where he made Adrian Slayer submit to the armbar. Move number one thousand four seven twelve seven twelve and three of uh, Chris Jericho's one hundred and four moves that he knows more of than Dane Malenko. 1,004, not 104. Drags into the middle of the ring. This could be it. We could have a new internet champion right here. One! Chad Patton, count your ass off. I think that's Chad Patton. I'm not sure which referee that is. It's not Lil Nate. I know that much. I don't think that's a random referee. I'm now going to do research. By the end of this, uh, not by the end of this taping, but by the beginning of next taping, as Night Sage hits another DiBiase-esque fist drop to the face of Primal Instinct. I'm going to see which referee this is. I'm going to do some uh, some investigative journalism like the journalist that I am, or at least wanted to go to school for, school for when I was uh, in 7th grade. But no, it's this. Going to go for a reverse suplex. Reverse suplex on the knee. Drive from the back of the head down. And now Mark Nightsage is going to try to build some momentum for this contest. We're going to see if Mark Nightsage can pull it off. But Primal Instinct got the arm bar. Not the arm bar. He's got the front 
Ah, he's kicking him in the face. You know what? That's a good offense. Just kick the man in the face and punch him right in the chest like a man would. Right in the solar plexus. If Mark Knight say which is a putty, he'd be dead right now. That's legit. European uppercut just to make sure that putty is dead. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Gonna go ahead and climb one of those imaginary DCW brass rings. The cover. One, no. Not even one. Chad Patton is slow. Luckily, Kia Wu wouldn't referee this match because apparently Kia Wu had it in with Mark Nightsage. I don't know if he paid Mark Nightsage or what happened, but it, he's not refing this contest. He was immediately thrown out, and now it's this. Big back suplex. That back suplex was unsafe as shit. You saw his primal instincts. The back of his neck hit the canvas first and nothing else. And now there's that Superman uh, body block takedown. The one that took down AJ Slayer, so you gotta know it just destroyed Marcus Nightsage. Cover! Again, kick out at none! And now what's happening here? Top wrist lock. And now what's going down now? What's going down now? What's happening now? Oh no! Here's that lot Miska. This is the move that he beat Scorpio Skeleton in for the Internet Championship in real life. Here, we'll take you to that very call now. <laughs> 